Hi everyone. Um, in the next couple of minutes, I will present something that has not been seen by the BOD, has not been discussed by the BOD, and has not been approved by the BOD. Um, so these are just my plans for what to propose, and hopefully most of the ideas will be accepted, and I also hope to get more ideas and feedback from all of you. Okay, um, so let's try and look forward to the next year. Um, I only have four slides to show. I'll be very brief. Um, on the first slide, I want to focus on the strategic priorities uh, that um, I would like to bring forward in the coming year. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, reach a consensus with the national consortia on what the minimum annual user involvement activities are and what they should be and um, that everyone should be sort of uh, on board and take these into account. And then I would like to uh, reach a consensus on how to comprehensively record all the activities and how to measure user involvement at the national level. And then I would like to promote these activities because I think there's a lot going on and we should be proud of all this. Um, on the website, uh, I would like to introduce a Tour de Clarin, um, arrange uh, a rotation system um, in which um, every um, period uh, should highlight a dif different national consortium, um, what they can be most proud of, the resources, the tools, the services that they are offering to their community, and the most successful successful user involvement activities in that period. I will need help with that from all of you, so I, uh, I'm kindly asking for your cooperation. Um, and then I would like to sort of pool all our experience, know-how um, among the consortia uh, by sharing with each uh, and everyone in the team uh, in terms of what works and what doesn't really work. Um, I would like us to share the easily reusable user involvement scenario. So if uh, a consortium does something and it goes really well and they think it can be applied by another consortium, I would really like us to uh, all benefit from this scenario. I would also like us to share training materials. It's very difficult to come up with nice research questions or nice user examples. Uh, they might not necessarily be directly applicable to another language or another uh, culture, but at least we can have a pool of ideas of um, what uh, users appreciate and can work with, and then it's easier to um, transform this to the local situation. Um, my job uh, will be something that has already been presented yesterday. I would like to focus on key target group, priority user groups, and do focused uh, user surveys. Because I think we don't really know the user groups that we want to attract uh, to use Clarin resources and tools. And I would like to get to know them better, to get their feedback, uh, learn what they need, and what they would need from us, and then um, start working from there on. Um, I would also like to um, start cooperating with the relevant infrastructures, associations, and organizations. Um, I'm already in touch with some university programs and lecturers directly uh, to um, sort of uh, incorporate Clarin into the curricula. And I would also like Clarin to be more present at key, most important um, conferences and summer schools um, in the area of digital humanities and social sciences so that we can um, help promote our resources and services directly to the uh, researcher communities. Um, next, I would like to show you the three priorities that I have selected uh, for my terms. I would like to, in particular, focus on education and training um, of first students and then early stage researchers, and finally the educators, the teachers, the supervisors of all these students and researchers. In terms of um, targeting uh, students, I would like us to be better involved in university curricula. Uh, there are several, several Erasmus Plus uh, projects that are all already developing university curricula for digital humanities and social sciences, and there are some European masters that we could try and uh, be more present at. These, for example, th these are just examples, um, are the Erasmus Plus 
projects called Digiling and uh, Daraya Teach, and another European Masters in Language and Communication Technologies. I'm already in touch with all of these and we, we will try to come up with a good working plan. Next, I would really like to be actively present at top summer schools. ESLI is one of the uh, most widely known international um, and interdisciplinary summer schools. It's been uh, taking place over 25 years already, every year in a different uh, country. And many Clarin researchers already um, participate the summer school as lecturers there. So I think we can do a lot more there. I would like to extend this model that is really helpful uh, to summer schools in digital humanities and um, social sciences. Also, I think it would be very nice to add a student session um, at the Clarin Annual Conference, if possible. In terms of reaching early stage research, researchers, I would like to start um, a masterclass format where at important uh, events, uh, Clarin experts would attend and would receive questions from early stage researchers and would try to give them advice on methodological questions and try to uh, recommend Clarin approaches, tools and research, uh, resources to them. I would also like us to establish active connections with the relevant cost actions. I counted and there are about four, uh, 40 relevant ongoing actions uh, right now. They already have regular networking meetings where we could, um, that we could participate and present our tools and resources. And they also organize training schools and uh, short-term uh, scientific missions. I think this would be a helpful format to sort of start participating in. Um, finally, I would like to extend and promote the existing award to also to digital humanities scholars and social sciences scholars who not only develop Clarin infra infrastructure, but use it in outstanding research. Finally, priority three, I would like to show trainers and supervisors what we have to offer so that they can then promote our cause to their students. Um, I intend to do this by offering workshops and seminars on the new or key language tools and resources for um, lectures and researchers in and outside our fields. Um, something similar is already going on within the Clarin Plus workshops. Uh, there are two um, coming workshops on parliamentary data and social media. I would really like to organize teacher seminars that uh, address topics that are not yet sufficiently present in uh, actual university curricula. I would like to provide some teacher training materials for that so that they can incorporate this in their um, lectures. Um, I would like to also offer refreshment courses for language professionals, such as translators, language editors, and journalists, how they could benefit from what's been going on uh, since they finished university. And finally, I, I think it's important to also target um, underserviced communities, such as the diaspora, minorities, and people with special needs. They too can benefit a lot from our services. And finally, I would like to uh, welcome your ideas and suggestions, and let's look forward to move from what's possible and available to, use, uh, to what's useful and useful for everyone. Thank you. Just maybe questions that uh, we should address immediately. Thank you very much. I just wanted to say this was great, and I'm looking forward for you in the new role to implement all these wonderful things. I just had a suggestion. Um, I didn't see it named in your slides, but it was definitely part of your idea about strategic partnerships. Um, at this event, there are various people that are part of the European Association for Digital Humanities, and within EADH, we discussed a lot about how can we better liaise with Clarin. So I think it would be great if we could start with the first, well, the first event next year is the ADH Day in Rome in January, which is organized by the Italian Association for Digital Humanities. And obviously in Italy, we now have also a Clarin Center. So it would be great maybe to start with that if the call is out and yeah, just a suggestion. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Further questions? Okay, then I'll... 
bring my sound to the lectern. 